We'll catch you soon. So you have Akashi versus Foul God. I'm actually surprised to see him using the Foul God tag because he used to use, uh, well, for a while, I know he's been using the tag Thunder, but I guess he's, uh, he, he even has it as his uh, in-game tag, but I guess he's been uh, applied as Foul God for this tournament. Yeah, you can join, you can join him, it's so cool. So I have one friendly looking gentleman joining me on the mic. What is your tag, sir? All right, it's uh, Young Amir, a.k.a. Uberman, on Young the mic. Young Amir. And uh, we're going to see Akashi versus Thunder. Uh, Akashi, uh, best Marth in Ontario. But he's playing Lucina, and he does this usually whenever he feels that he's not playing on point. I think Lucina uh, is still wearing her mask because the uh, image for Akashi is Marth right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah um, Even the game thinks it's Marth. Yeah, he usually goes uh, Lucina when he doesn't feel like he can get consistent tippers and he feels the spacing's off. So it's definitely more rewarding to play Lucina in that kind of situation, which is good. And um, I don't know what his set history with Thunder is, but I know Akashi is, you know, resident, like, definitely one of the top level players. At least m top of the mid level, I'd say. Because I feel like he's very good. Thunder's been playing this game for a very long time. So, like, his experience I can see is a. Uh Gonna be really strong. I haven't. I didn't see Akashi for a while, though. I have. I've been gone from this machine. How how much experience do you say Akashi has? How how long has he been around? He's definitely been around for a minimum a year and a half. So he, he's definitely know. He definitely knows his stuff. Really? So he must have come in as soon as I did. <laughs> probably, I, probably. I haven't been around for about a year. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, like it's weird. I feel like Marth would actually do better against somebody like Ryu because uh, the sort of character would probably excel at keeping them out. So that that spacing would probably benefit him more. Yeah, he really has to work on his spacing and kind of uh, bait and punish versus Thunder. And uh, one thing he is kind of known for is very big aggression off stage. He's very aggressive. He can be very, uh, just kind of hunt you down. And we might see that a lot more here, but uh, yeah, definitely has to work on that. He has that shield damage. I wonder what he's going to do with it. Spacing very well now that he's lost his stock. If he'd done that last time, I think he would have prepared much better. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I feel like uh, up throw on. Yeah, it definitely won't kill. Yeah, it's probably going to kill around maybe 180. Yeah, it's a good job not scaling it. Ooh, but get. Ooh, off shot. I spoke too soon. That uh, battlefield playing to uh, Thunder's advantage right there. Was this yeah. his pick or do you not know? Sorry? Whose pick was this? Not sure. I just came on, man. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm a bad commentator. Oh, right there. Might take it off the side. Yeah, good stuff. So, yeah, still looking pretty good for Akashi right now, actually. It's a commentator uh, cliche, but uh, it's still anybody's game right now. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I think if I think if uh, Ryu had put on like 70%, then I would have called the curtains, because then it would just been he would have just come back with 0%, and all he has to do is do like a uh, up tilt into a short you can, and that would have been curtains. Yeah, not not sure if it would have killed that early on this stage, but uh, actually yeah, that's a good point. Not a good point. Yeah. Oh yeah, Thunder definitely trying to get into a situation where he can get the dare off stage, but it's not working out. And Akashi, really good string right now. Oh, goes deep, but doesn't work out. So a little war uh, roll reversal. Thunder was putting the pressure on early, but now it seems Akashi has uh, got him on the ropes right now. Yeah, definitely. He's playing really well. He, I feel like he's just reading his ledge options really well. Seeing those single hits, which really matter. Um, and, I, and it's funny because I haven't seen too many. I, I feel like at the mid percents, he does go for a lot of side Bs, uh, those dancing blades. But I haven't seen it too often. But it's looking really close right now. Oh, that hard read. Not working out for him. I don't know. I feel like that might have been an up tilt. Because that was uh, most people avoid going for the up smash because just how small the hitbox is. Yeah. Being stuck on that platform as Ryu against a, a sort of character must be really scary. It's yeah. going to be hard to come down. He's just fishing. He's, he's walking slowly. He's like, mm, up tilt, up tilt. Mm, yes. Oh, that soft hit affair actually might have almost confirmed to that up tilt, but he was just off. And Akashi fishing with that up smash, but he's looking like in a really good position to read this. Oh my god, that, that read. And he has him off stage. Oh. Actually, you know what's funny? Forward tilt was actually the optimal punisher. I think that if he had gone for the forward smash, it would have been too slow. He would have got the shield off in time. Yeah. But well, honestly. Oh, Thunder! Oh, the walk. That spacing was perfect from Akashi. He walked slightly to the right, just got right out of the, uh, the range of that dash attack and punished perfectly. Great stuff to Akashi and taking game one. In other words, did he just walk away slowly and, and forward smash, smash? Yeah. the other way across crazy. the stage? And Akashi getting hype, you know, he knows that he can do this. He definitely knows. And it's definitely showing right now. Game two on Smashville. And that is really scary when you are pressuring someone so early and you get their stock ahead and you have a really nice percentage. Like you don't lose that much percentage and you take their first stock and then they bring it back. It's really scary to think, have they downloaded me? And that gets yeah. in your head. It's yeah. like, man, like, like maybe these tricks I was doing before I can't do anymore, even if they would have worked. That's true, that's true. 
And I'm liking how uh, Akashi is kind of throwing out aerials, trying to trying to show what his space is, trying to keep his space, and um, trying to keep Thunder out. Oh, that dare sour spotting, getting lucky there. Oh, Ooh. that could have been it. Yeah, that that, that would have been scary. Last platforms for Lucina to run away from. You're seeing Thunder take advantage of this right now. Like, Ooh. Yeah, Thunder. Oh, wow. Surprised he, not seeing air dodge there. Yeah, he um. I guess uh, that's the thing, Thunder, he wasn't really going for any really big edge guards early on. He was really just going for like trying to read the ledge options. So uh, it was really good for him to just pop out there and kind of catch him by surprise. Yeah, Th Thunder always manages to impress me when he goes for these backers really low. Like if I ever dare go that low with a Ryu back here, I just SD. Like I just go straight off the blast zone into the pit. But he just happens to just get back. It makes it look really easy. And yeah, Thunder kind of running away with a lead. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little bit too overzealous there with that uh, shuriken. Man, the sound effect on that forward. Oh, oh, Akashi a little too low, but barely makes that. Magnet hands. And wow, he's actually doing pretty well with trying to get the sleep. And Ooh, easier dodge. The weight. Stuff. There we go. Cena so graceful. She's going to run away. She's like, oh, I'm over here now. Come and over I here. I think he may be in kill percent right now, too. Left yeah. Oh, he's definitely feeding for it. Oh, oh, he waited for that air dodge. I, uh, he was expecting Lucina to back away off stage to go back to the ledge. That's why he ran off stage like that. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Akashi's. Oh, Ooh. wow. That. That detail, I think maybe slightly extending his hurt box and allowing... Um, he went invisible through the poke of the sword and he hit her in the arm and yeah. she went up all the way off stage. Yeah, that was that, crazy. That's an intense interaction right there. I feel like Akashi's pick here, he might want to choose a stage where he has more platforms, more more room to move because he's definitely going to need it. I just ran out of ST. I'm, I'm liking the Dreamline pick kind of. Okay, yeah, okay. This will be good. It's just so funny to see Dreamland in like a modern Smash game. Just like it looks better in this game than in every other game, but like it's just so funny that this 64 stage is still like one of the picks. Yeah, I feel like it's become like a staple in a sense. And there's that side B getting that great percent there. Ooh. Uh, Thunder with this great chain Good right now. Oh, and he's going for the footstools. Oh, uh, just a little bit too much percentage. And that there, that's it. Okay. Giphy Cat. <laughs> yeah, he definitely caught himself in there. Actually, not ready for such a big, uh, such such an aggressive approach. And caught himself in with that nair to there. And yeah, now he's feeling himself. He's like, oh, you're on the ledge. I'm just going to come up to you right now. Yeah. He's definitely in a good mood after that. Yeah, he's definitely playing his own game right now. He's just kind of running at him, doing what Ryu does best, throwing out hitboxes, getting that percent. <laughs> <laughs> throwing out hitboxes as he hits, like, seven up tilts in one second. Yeah. Ryu is a oh, funny this character. Be, oh, man, just barely. Well, I have never seen Ryu actually, like, ascend with that side B before. Is that a new tech? Uh, no, I feel like if you just jump and then immediately do it, you'll rise. Ah, oh, it's like you just rise with it. Mm. It's like I love Jump with Zelda, but you have to get hit first. That could have been a scary situation where someone could have got a foot still, but unfortunately, Akashi getting the short end of the stick there. Ooh. Oh, and this should there be it is. It. Yeah. Making quick work. Both of those games looking a little bit closer, uh, but Thunder feeling himself right at the end there. I think getting that early stock just really shook up Akashi right there. Didn't really know how to answer that. Yeah, I feel like game one, um, 